Courtney Robinson and I am a certified yoga therapist and prenatal teacher. I am certified in prenatal and so what I'm going to teach you today is how to get a basic yoga practice when you are on complete bed rest as a pregnant mama. And I'm also going to add to this a little short meditation. I'm here today with my dog, so hopefully they'll behave themselves. <laughs> so I am on a yoga mat on the floor, and obviously you would not be. You would be in the bed. So from here, though, I'm going to sit and explain what you would do, and I want you to just begin to listen to me. First, we're going to start as you are on your back. Just begin to rest your head against the pillow and begin, my rosy girl is getting comfortable, begin to feel the rise and fall of your belly as you rest either on your back or on your side, preferably your left side. Feel the rise and fall of the belly. You can put your hands on your baby and your heart or you can just rest your arms, whatever makes you comfortable. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Flow on out now through pursed lips. Until you can't blow out anymore. What happens is when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen. And when we breathe out, we're pushing that oxygen that came in through the pulmonary wall. Yes, carbon dioxide or waste product is released. But what is happening is that oxygen is going through the pulmonary wall and that oxygen is going to our baby to help our baby be healthy and strong and also to our organs to help us be healthy and strong. All right, go ahead and relax your shoulders today. Allow your jaw to become slack. You have a nerve up here. When your baby, um, even before your baby is born and comes into the world is still in your belly, you may hum or sing. Coming and singing relaxes this nerve up here at the jaw, and it also calms the baby as well as the mama. So when I tell you to relax, that's to soften and relax that vagus nerve. And allow it to relax, so allow your cheeks to relax. Now I'm going to have you take your hands, if you're able to, and I want you to just put your hands along your hairline and kind of push and release. Push and release. Now come down between the cheek and the jaw, just right there at the upper jaw, the soft spot, and gently massage your face. And take up here on your sinuses, right there at the tops of your cheeks, and massage, and then right above your eyebrows. Good. Relax your hands down. Of course, make sure your hands are clean and you haven't been in contact with other people when you touch your face. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Good. And feel your body breathing. Now, we're going to focus on all of the joints of the body that we can while you're on bed rest. And so, to the best of your ability, do these, but don't worry about perfection. I'm going to have you take your head and just gently take it to one side or the other, just taking your head left to right. There are four arteries in the neck that help to carry blood via, or oxygen via blood to the brain. So we're going to massage those. Good. And the muscles in the neck. Now come back to center and I want you to drop your chin to your chest to the best of your ability. And then bring your head up to center and just a little bit lift your chin, not too far back. Now bring it down again. And up. Now, take your right ear over to your right shoulder again. I know that you're in bed, so just do the best you can. Don't worry about perfection. We want to keep it simple. That's our motto here, keep it simple. Inhale your head up. Exhale, go over to the other side. And if the breathing is a little bit confusing, just make sure you're not holding your breath and follow the movement. And bring your head up and back down again chin down and lift. Okay, so from your back, take your arms out to your sides. So if you're on your back, this is just to your sides. And just open and close your hands to your shoulders a few times. 
to the best of your ability. You're bending the elbow, the hinge joint. Now take your hands out in front of you. You don't have to stretch them. You can keep your elbows bent and open and close your hands. I don't want your hands too high up, certainly not over your head, okay? Because we want to keep your blood pressure regulated. And we're going to circle our hands a few times. I'm trying to massage the joint, especially if you're in bed because you can um, opposite direction. You know, you want to prevent soreness and discomfort when you're in bed for long periods of time. And we need to keep the lymph fluid pumping and circulation. Now shake your arms like jello. Good. Now with your hands over your chest, take your palms together like your, my dad calls us pray, pray harder. And relax your arms down to your sides with your palms up. Good. Now take one arm out, it doesn't matter which one, and begin to flap the hand up and down. This can be in front or this can be to the side. Up and down. Now side to side. Okay. Now take one hand, that same hand out, and begin to imagine that you're undoing a light bulb. Now you're going to screw it back. Yeah, okay. From your heart to your finger, stretch, and then bring it down back to your side. Take the opposite hand out and go up and down, up and down a few times. And you can have it forward or back. So you went up and down, now you're gonna go clap it forward and back like a fish fin. Now reach out and you're gonna unscrew a light bulb Good, and then you're gonna go and screw one back in. Great, now from your heart to your finger, stretch, and take it down. Now, depending on what position you're in and making sure that you're doing this safely and that there, the doctor hasn't told you not to do this, and I have done quite a bit of research and have not found where it is unsafe, but if something doesn't feel safe, especially in pregnancy, we don't want you to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna have you raise your arms over your head in your bed and stretch and breathe. And bring them down. We're gonna do that three times. Inhale your arms up. We're not gonna leave those arms above the head very long. Stretch and take it down. Good. Inhale your arms above your head and stretch and bring it down. Remember, you're doing all of this in bed. Okay, good, relax your shoulders. Now, if you start to feel like your heart rate's getting up and you're uncomfortable, I want you to relax and slow down and just take a break. We're gonna take our hands in front and we're gonna open our arms out and back. Now, this, you have to kind of be on your back to do this, out and back. Inhale. I did a lot of research on bed rest. I have been on bed rest with two babies. Shake your arms, but it's been a long time. My kids are grown. And I did see that bed rests are different. There's some that are very extreme where your feet are elevated above your head, like my sister experienced. Or there's some where you're on your left side for three hours a day, and then you're able to sit up. So you make sure that you're doing what is best for you at any given time. And these may be beneficial to you at different times during your pregnancy. So assuming that you're on your back or wherever you are, if you can sit up or sit back on your bed, take your feet and begin to point and flex your feet. Point and flex, point and flex. You can kind of bend your knees as well, almost like you're pedaling. There you go. Now I want you to wiggle your toes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Take your toes out like a dolphin spin and then take your toes together. You don't have to take your heels all the way out. That may not be comfortable. And just kind of let them go in and out. Now this next one I actually did see for bed rest and I think that it might be uncomfortable for some folks. So you're gonna have to listen to what's best for you. But I'm gonna have you bring one knee in to the side of your baby, okay? And so what this might look like on the back might be, you know, here, right? So I'm gonna put a pillow under my back to simulate the bed. So 
to the side of the baby. This will help with sciatica, which is super common. We're gonna pretend that my head is on a pillow. And you can let it drop open and back. Take it back, bring the other leg up, let it go to the side. You can let it drop open and back. Now, if you're not, if you don't want to put too much pressure on the cervix, just be mindful of how that feels. And go ahead and get comfortable again. Good. That also works the hip joint, and so with the back, you may not be able to do a lot with the spine. So, and we don't want you to do deep twist when you're pregnant or anything where the head is below the heart. So we're gonna go on in now. I'm gonna grab a block. We're gonna, to simulate this for you, we're gonna go on in now to just a gentle meditation because let's face it, you might be getting a little tired if you've been in bed for a while even doing a little bit of exercise when you're carrying all that extra weight can be a lot, right? So I'm gonna take my hair down. You can have your knees elevated if you like. And you'll notice that I have my chest lifted so that my heart is above the baby so that the baby is getting plenty of blood. So there's no pressure on the cervix in this. It's not that much pressure. It just lifts the heart a little bit so that blood flow can go. You could also go to your left side if you need to and put a pillow between your legs. That is often recommended for the venous return. All right, one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart if it's comfortable where you are and begin to find the rise and fall of your belly. Allow your toes and legs to relax and they can stay bent or they can straighten out. You want to keep it simple. Allow the legs to begin to fall into a comfortable position for you. Allow your hands to go into a comfortable position now, palms up or relaxed. And just gently begin to feel your breath moving you. You don't have to control the breath. You, I just want you to notice it. Breathing in through the nose. And as you breathe out, if you like, you could breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in, fill your body with your breath. And breathe out. Now let your mind focus on your pelvic belly. I want you to check in with yourself today, but what I want you to do is be mindful not to get attached, not to get attached to the outcome, not to get attached to fixing anything. We are simply noticing, where am I today? How am I doing? And this is done as if you're looking at yourself in third person, like you're looking at a loved one. So take a moment, check in with how you're doing, Maybe you think about, yeah, today is a little bit cloudy, or maybe I'm feeling a little sunny, and notice where you are, or I'm having a hard time with blank, but I'm doing really well with this other thing. So take a moment, take a little inventory. like going on a journey and you have a map in front of you and you got to know where you are to know where you're going. So when we check in with ourselves, that's knowing where we are. Where is our starting point? The next one is knowing where our destination is. So we ask ourselves, what is it I need? What does my baby need? What do I need to be healthier, to be happier, to have more joy or peace of mind? And as we ask ourselves that question, what do I need? What does my baby need? We just listen for the answer. And whatever comes up, begin to visualize that happening. An example might be, especially if you're bedridden, 
Maybe you need to call someone to bring you some food or come visit with you. So you would just take a moment and you would visualize all of that happening. So let's go ahead and do that now. heart space. I'm touching my heart, but your hands can be to your side. And I want you to begin to think about what you're grateful for, because even in the hardest times of our life, if we really try, we can find something to be grateful for. For some people, this is incredibly joyful time of, the lot of their life. And for other people, it can be quite challenging. But even no matter where we are, we can be grateful for something whether it's our comfortable bed at night, movies, a glass of tea, doesn't have to be fancy. Take a few moments and visualize what you're grateful for, see it in your mind and name it. Now, imagine the crown of your head. As you breathe in through your nostrils, feel the cool air. Take your awareness to the crown of your head. As you exhale, relax the face and the skin of the scalp. Deeply allow the face to relax and let go. Go deep into the mind. And here I want you to visualize a healthy, happy baby. You may tell yourself, my baby is strong. My baby is healthy. I am strong. I am healthy. I am a capable and smart mother. Take a few moments, repeat what it is you need as if it is true in this moment and take a few rounds of breath. Imagine a breath coming in through the top of your head and exhale and imagine it going all the way through your body, through your feet. And as you breathe in, imagine breath could come up through your feet and exhale through the crown of the head. Feel the rise and fall of the heart and the belly. The belly rises and falls with the breath. You may leave your legs out or bend your knees with your feet flat. Whatever is good for you. And if you want to sway your knees a little bit, you can. Whatever is comfortable. There's nothing to be perfect here. Just do what you can and leave the rest. Relax your legs. Now take your hands and open and close them. Move your wrist around, wiggle your toes. And then if it's available to you, you can stretch your arms over your head and stretch your legs out and take a nice big breath into your body. And as you exhale, sweep your hands down to your side. Relax your legs wherever you're comfortable and begin to open your eyes slowly and gently. All right, find your comfortable position. And I wanna thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope that you have a wonderful pregnancy and a healthy, happy baby. Many blessings.